Here at CES, I love my technology, but I also love my music. And when Gibson told me all about that most magical of musical inventions, a guitar that tunes itself, I had to investigate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the legend of the robot guitar. So this looks like a normal guitar, but right. actually represents the solution to many a musician's problem, which is out of tune playing. Absolutely, and gives you abilities that you didn't have in a guitar before. Brilliant, well how does it work? Well, it's uh, quite simple. So, basically all you do is you pull up the knob, okay, and then uh, you strum. And what you'll see is, this will start to turn, as I start strumming it, you'll notice it's, it's turning back to where it was. <laughs> and as soon as it turns uh, blue, then we're, we're back in tune. Brilliant. And just keep strumming. There it is. It turned blue, and now it's a perfect tune. So it takes, you know, about five, six seconds. And what made um, you come up with this as an idea? Is it from your users or did Gibson think of it? Well, uh, we've actually been pursuing that. Uh, we started with a company in uh, Colorado that had a technology that we worked with for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And then um, they never were able to really achieve what we wanted in the guitar. Uh, we then got in touch with another uh, inventor mm -hmm. uh, in Germany, actually. Oh. And uh, he had worked on it and refined it and finally got it to, to a degree that we felt our players would really want. So uh, it's really been a search uh, for over 15 years to achieve this level of, of uh, sophistication. Uh -huh. And how does the technology work? Well, basically there are uh, individual pickups in the saddle and there's actually a little a circuit board. There's a circuit board under here uh, this has the frequency of the strings, and it goes into a microprocessor in here. That's great. Okay, this is an, a very novel thing. It sends the signal over the strings. Okay, so this, the, actually there are no wires into another brain on the back of the headstock. I see. This brain then feeds the servo mechanism that also act as the tuner, so there are six individual servo motors. Uh, we are introducing uh, new models at actually a lower price starting in uh, February. Right. Well, Henry, thank you ever so much for your time. Thank and, you for um, <laughs> It's been a pleasure. I think we should do some jamming on the I piano should, at some let's point do, too. Let's well. do some jamming. Yeah. So come on. Meanwhile, in the convention centre, I bumped into Brian and John from Skull Candy, a company stuffed with style. They are shaking up the market with some unconventional musical peripherals. Like, what we want is someone to say, hey, that is a great sound, and that is a great looking headphone. This is our new, this is our Skull Crusher headphone. This is an exclusive Skull Candy product. This is the world's only software headphone. This baby pounds! It's got four drivers in it, um, two for the subwoofer and two for the regular audio. Plus, you can switch the subwoofer on and off and dial up how much bass you want. So, no longer do you just have low bass in your, only low frequency in your car. You have all the bass you want, anytime you want. So you can pump the vibes right in your brain. Yeah, Skull Candy rocks! Woo! Okay, so no subwoofer at the moment. It sounds kind of good. Whoa! Okay, that's impressive. I know you can't hear it, but... So Skull Candy rocks, dude! Okay, I'm impressed. Yeah.